And we welcome you to the south side of Chicago and guaranteed Ray Field. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Oakland Athletics going up against the Chicago White Sox. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about to get underway and starting in this one, Eric Fetty. Zone with that heavy sinker he's got. You know, it's not as popular to throw that pitch uh, today as it used to be because you know, guys are looking to hit balls down in the zone, get them up in the air. It's very important for him when facing same side hitters to be able to get it in, especially early in the count, and to opposite guys be able to throw it at that front hip and run it over the inside corner. Right hander kicks deals. Not one, one. close with that one, and the count is one and one. And fouled off. And no one can get there. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And He'll feel real good about that one. Now the go-ahead runs in scoring position, so big opportunity for them to jump. Here is one, one, no Zach Gellar. Man at second. Aye. Pitch is in there. One ball, one strike. Action in the pen down there. Davey Garcia up and throwing. Toussaint getting cranked up as well. The pitch swings through that one. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Next offering is downstairs. The other way. nobody out well that's a smart decision to hold up with one out and the heart of the order coming up don't want to run into an out at home plate the eighth spot brent rooker swings through that all ones account Side low, and the count even one and one. one, ball, one strike. Runners at the corners, nobody out, and we're just getting started here in the top of the swing and a miss. One ball. He was out Two front strikes. that time. The pitch cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. So he needed a strike out there, and he got it. And now we'll see how they play it defensively. Yeah, now they can move the middle infielders back a little bit, get into double play depth, and look for a ground ball and roll it up, get a big double play, get out of this inning. I tell you what, that was a big strikeout in a spot where they really needed one. So here's Brown at the plate. A little out front there. Ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up zone they'll be pitching for a double Noda third third yellow at first one ball well, we can never overstate it
back here on the south side. And start number 38. Four-pitch guy, he's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket. As a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. Andrew Benintendi stands in now, looks at that one inside. Steps to the plate for the White Sox. There goes the runner. Cut out and miss. Throw to second. Tag. Out at second. Well, this is a real momentum killer after the leadoff. Tried to second base on the first pitch. Defense was all over it. Nicely done from behind the plate with the catch and throw. And a quick tag before he reaches the base. And he deals. That one misses, and, and it's one and one. Foul. And that's outside. Chase that time. Luis Robert waits on deck. One out, base is empty. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Max and misses. It's a strikeout. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. Luis Robert now. There's a strike. Oh, and one. offering upstairs good One purpose out. pitch right there trying to tease him get him to raise his sights pop something up and make it an easy out fouled off left side this guy's got good power with one swing well, he can win it for him yeah that's a little high it's a good take And a swing and a miss down on strikes. A nice inning of work. He sets him down. One, two, three. We head to the second on the south side. No score. Second inning set to go. Now, Steve Davis. Leading off the open. The third base of the five. The right hander back to and that's outside. Ball one. On the ground, third. Sneaks through. Base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He will score, and the A's have moved out in front. One time as they knock on the runner for a second get on the board. Huge for team confidence and how you approach the situation. Still have a guy on base, and now Runner at first. 
This is J.J. Blade. There's the strike. The pitch. Yeah. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. Righty delivers. And a ball, he stays alive. Rudder at first with no outs here. Got it by him for the play. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way. A little anxious. Dirt. Not in time. He's safe. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. Well, that right there erases the chance of ending double play. So good job on the bases to move up on the wild pitch. Changes the outlook of the inning in a pretty big way. Runner at second here, one gone. Foul off down the right side. Here comes a pitch. Hard hit to third. Nicely done for the out. Taking in for Oakland, Este Yuri Ruiz. First pitch misses. Two outs. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Makes a nice running catch. And that is that. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. And the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back at Guaranteed Rate Field. We head to the bottom of the second. Now here's the cleanup hitter for the White Sox. Yoan Moncada. And here it comes. That's in there. One. Just missed. Pick off move to second. Robert dives back in. Second, and he's getting a pretty big lead right now. Definitely looking to score on any hit to the outfield. Kicks and fires. Right side. Makes the grab. Rounder tags at second, and he's in safely at third. Eloy Jimenez now. This is all about situational hitting. It's crucial in this spot. Do what you can put on a gap in the defense. Swing and a miss. The Athletics have some bullpen action. Lucas Ersay, a right-hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. With the tying run at third, and the home team trying to pull it out. Fastball for a strike. Next pitch is outside. And now the lefty, that's oh, inside. Hey. 
swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Big strikeout right there, and that kind of takes the pressure off the defense a bit. Now they can move back, give themselves more time on a grounder to make a play. A lot more ways to work out of this and strand that runner at third now. White Sox down to their final out. Dominic Fletcher steps to the plate for the White Sox. Nope, that Just missed. With the tying run at third, winning run at the plate. Bottom half of inning number two. Right through there for a strike. Kelly left that change up up. Got away with one there, and he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. And that one is lifted in the air. And it falls. Runner from third into score. It's 1-1. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a too much. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. And that's in for a strike. Leads off first with two down to the inning. And there's a ball. The shortstop takes the ball. One misses. Ball three. Showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. And that one finds its way through. Throw comes in quickly, but the winning run is now in scoring position. Two away. A couple of singles back to back. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Now just away from potentially walking this thing off. Second, two outs. So up next for Chicago, Nicky Lopez. And that one missing low. Ball one, no strike. Left-hand hitter waits. And that one. Slow roller up the middle. Limit the damage here. Two men left. We play two full. All tied 1-1. One, one. Here on the south side, all set for the start of the inning. Now it's the shortstop, Nick Allen. And the pitch. Right through there for a strike. 0 and 1. The shortstop takes the ball. Rocketed out towards right center, and it's into the gap. Headed for the plate. He scores, and they have the lead. It's 2 one. and that's a leadoff double. It comes up in position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. Back to the top of the lineup. And Noda up next for the A's. Sinker gets the bottom of the zone, and that's a strike. And the pitch. That one down the line. The throw to first, and one away at the top of the third. Good sinker low in the zone now right back. there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice yeah. ground out. 
Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Zach Geloff. And he's singled in this game. Wouldn't That's chase out. that time. Oh. That one missed. Two balls. One out no, and a runner at second. Just oh. off the oh, outside right. edge. And now 3-0. And there's the strike. Up the middle. To first. Got the out. Now it's the DH. Brent Rooker. Outfield deep here. Trying to prevent anything over their heads. And there's a foul ball. Two outs. And one. ball one. So hey. now one and two. Well, that's that slope that right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Righty to the play. That's Bolton. And another ball. Seth Brown in the on-deck circle. The eighth pitch of the bat. Outside, and that is ball four. That's a he saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. I don't think right there anyhow. So this will be the cleanup hitter. Brown. Over First pitch, not close. for his strike. And he can come up with it. And he can make it to first. And we'll see how they score it. In comes some insurance as the runner scores from third. It's 3-1. I think he got a little casual on that play and took it for granted a little bit. So maybe just as much of a mental mistake as if this Two outs. That's a tough one to swallow. Second, two down. Now it's J.D. Davis. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Parker over at second. Brown at first. Two out of the inning. Ball That's one ball. there. Out to short, to Young. They get the first. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. But two runs for him and they jump ahead. We head down to the home half of inning number three. Ace three, and the Sox won. Bottom of the inning, the White Sox catcher, Martin Maldonado. Oh, you got the number nine hole hitter right here. Oh, Looking to do whatever he can to get on base, turn this lineup over so the best hitters in this line have a chance to tie up the ball game or maybe even walk it off. Help one and oh. Man at second. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. One ball, one strike. And a swing and a miss there. One ball. Two strikes. One and two now. 
That one missing inside. Got him swinging for the K. Pulled the string on the changeup. The left fielder, number 20. And Attendee steps up. One for one with a single so far. Takes a strike. No ball, two strikes. And yeah, there's a ball. Kick and deals. That's outside. With the tying run at the plate here in the last half of the third. Outside. outside. And now it's three and two. And a pitch. Ball four. Nope. Up next to Chicago. The first baseman. Andrew Vaughn now. Went down on strikes his first time through. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Liner snagged it first. He put a really good swing on that pitch and hit the ball hard. You know, line drives are always play the hole. But the more you can hit the ball like that with good exit below, the better off you're going to be in the long run. So they're down to their final out. And now it's Luis Robert. Struck out swinging his first time. Now look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Fought off. The White Sox down to their final strike. Sends it to center, and this should be it. And that'll do it. The A's claim the win here behind some great pitching defense. Three ball game, quick game. We were looking for a little bit more. It seemed at points the offenses were going to break out, but a total of four runs combined. Really good pitching and defense on both sides. Just a couple of key swings making all the difference. And your final 3-1. Victorious. For Bill 10 and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.